guys, Exxon Noah here, playing some more Rainbow Six Siege rank gameplay for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy, if you do, please see that like rating, comment if you have any suggestions, which I'll get into this video. Now, as you can see, I've got Buck in Auto Frost, which hopefully you guys will enjoy because there's a little bit of a mix-up with my family. Um, my mum got my sister's boyfriend Xbox Microsoft points, except for Xbox Live. So... Lucky for me, my mother gave me the points. I was able to use that to get enough R6 um, tokens to buy Buck and Frost. So now I have them, which hopefully is... I Hopefully you guys enjoy. I don't add the two like I like assumed I was going to. I like Frost more than Buck. I don't think Buck was really... Well, has been really um, designed too well. By the the way I say that is, I think the recoil in his gun is too much. Like, I hope, I'll I'll try to show you in this gameplay, just like on a war or something like that. But I just think that yeah, I've used it when like I was playing a game, and the kick just went huge and I had to really really try and manage the recoil. Not many guns in this game have that um, downside to a gun. Most guns are just straight up, yep, okay, um, you know, this is the gun for recoil, you can like deal with this, don't worry about it. Um, it's easy for you. But this one really isn't, which, well, when I say that, I mean the um, assault rifle. So, um, maybe they'll, uh, fix it, or, um, not so much fix it, maybe, just, um, nerf it a little bit, just so it's a little bit more bearable, because, I guess I'll kind of show you on this wall here, it just goes up, I think, too fast. Uh, maybe if, like, it went to there, it would be a little bit easier to handle and whatnot. But, yeah, just at the moment, it's not the easiest thing to handle. So, that is my two cents on this um, character's gun. And, yes, this person is really smart, actually. I like our teammates already. Oh, what? What? Why did it spawn there? Why it spawned there, I have no idea. But there we go, fuse going in huge for us here. Can I pick up this drone? No, I cannot. Is there anyone in these rooms? Let's. No, that is not a um, match that I can win there. Thankfully, our teammates were able to pull it off though. Let us. See what else there is. There is a player with a shotgun, but I've also got a shotgun which hopefully lays out well for me here if they decide to come down this way. Come on. Yes, yes, good work from our team there. I didn't do too much, but um, I think I did enough there for our team to. Ooh, very cheeky, cheeky place. Yeah, I did enough for our team there to get some kills. I, I did take um, damage off one of the players to get an assist, so that is all good. So as you can see, there is two guns for um, Frost as well, the Super 90 and the 9mm C1. This is a submachine gun, that's a shotgun. I use a shotgun for this first round. I do like the shotgun. Shotgun, I reckon, is a very... Um, solid gun just I don't know it, just, it has a very nice range and then it, like but the only bad thing about it is after the range kind of drops off after oh, a couple of meters as a shotgun probably should like from probably here to the table maybe a little bit less after that it's kind of not very it's not strong at, at all I don't think after that so, advised, a bomb location that is, yeah, see they can't get around here, which is perfect. Now, this is a little thing for, if you didn't know about Frost, 
You can now do this as well. So if you don't know about the um, the shock wire one, what you would do is you put a shock onto the shield so that gets shocked, put bar wire there so that gets shocked, and they would normally lose a lot of health. Now you can just put um, this there, and hopefully they'll just go. Okay, we need to get over here, let's jump it, and then they will die. Now, rubber banding is not fun at all. There we go, got out of that. Don't really know what happened there. And this, I've never actually been in this area of the map before, so this is very new to me. Hopefully, some people come through this way. Normally people do. That's kind of my reasoning for being here at the moment. And then hopefully I'll be able to take people if they try to come down these stairs. But, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it too much at the moment. Also guys, let me know if you want to see just like highlights of this. Like when I kill people, or like when I die. Stuff like that. Because if you do want to see that stuff like that, I'll be happy to show it for you guys. So let me know, either through social media or on the comments. And I'll do so for you guys. I'll be able to get more um, like kills and deaths into a video for you guys so maybe you guys will enjoy that more so yeah just let me know like as you can see there nice one shot shotgun to um, Ash there no real reaction time allowed for uh, her there to get a shot off is there anyone else gonna try to come around here I feel like there might be, but what I'm going to do here is a little bit of a risky play. There we go. Nice kill there. That was a, a little bit risky. Could have uh, been looking ooh, you need to at an area that hurts. Are they down here? They're not down here. Yes, they are. One up, Shotgun remain. there coming out for the clutch. Where is this guy? Oh, unlucky there not to get this Mission shot onto failed. him. All friendlies were eliminated. Low health there. I really probably shouldn't have jumped down. I knew he was out there. That's why I went around. Just, yeah, unable just to get that shot off onto him. But, I don't know. That's the way this game plays. It's unpredictable at times. So, uh, let's just see what happens here. Now, someone's glass. I was going to check the damage rates of this because, as you can see, that is 52 damage. So it's a two-shot kill with the cameras, or is it pronounced C A M R S? Sorry, excuse me. I'm pretty sure it's cameras. Cameras? I'm not too sure. I'm going to call it the C A M R S, just because I don't want to say it wrong. And as these are um, Canadian operators, they could be pronounced um, very different to the way that we're used to. And nice to see there, ooh, identified two people even after I was shot, which is nice. And we were able to find a bomb, which is helpful for our team. But yeah, I think that last round, nothing really went too wrong my way. I mean, I got some kills, that was nice. Um, and then just a little bit of um, my own fault really um, came into play when I died because I really could have saved myself a lot of health and I probably really should have checked that corner a lot better when I um, was um, going down that corridor. But like I say, it is where it is. So. Let's just get onto this grind, I guess, of this round here. So I can't remember if I've said this, but let's just, I'm sorry, say this now. I've been trying to record some H1Z1 for you guys, and it's not going the way I want. Um, over for flow conversion rate 17 to 18 has been popping up whenever I throw it into my Adobe After Effects. If you guys know what that is, then um, please let me know how to fix it. I know that there's one way which involves getting rid of um, audio completely, which if I have to do, I will do. 
but it's not something that I want to do. So yeah, just um, let me know if you guys don't care about audio, especially for something like um, CSGO, where I'll just be doing like some funny moments. Now, I wonder if this can shoot through. No, I don't think that can actually shoot through that like um, good old um, oh, what's his name? Glass can. Don't think that can shoot through. So, where will we try to go here? There's a player outside, which I need to stay wary of. Now, where is this person? This person here. There we go. Oh, I didn't get the kill there, but it's all good. Teammates got it, which is nice. Now, I'm trying to see if there's any um, where I can get someone by surprise here. But it seems like our teammates kind of have it unlocked, so I'm kind of wanting to do... Like I always say, a risky maneuver of um, dropping down and just spraying through with my um, shotgun pellets here. You know what, let's do it, let's break the place. That was not what we needed. Oh, that, yep. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I was kind of hoping that he was looking another way, but it wasn't to see the case. And yeah, perfect there from Fuse to get that uh, kill there. I got a kill assist on him, so I did get some damage to him, which is nice. But yeah, very nice work there from Fuse to get that final kill. Let's jump back onto Frost here and use the submachine gun. Very interesting submachine gun because. Instead for holding a grip like you normally would, you actually hold on to the magazine. Which may be a common thing in the real life. I haven't seen too many of that. We actually hold on to the magazine on the side of the gun. But I reckon it's kind of interesting to have that nonetheless. Especially in a game where it's not seen too much. So let's see what Protect we can do here. See, this is what the gun looks like. That, as you can see, is the magazine. Yeah, uh, magazine. And I guess let's just throw down some of these mats here. And I don't know, let's just try to put these in some awkward positions that hopefully catch these eyes off guard. Let's put this down. Just there. And then hopefully they'll just run through onto that. Now, if you guys didn't know, you can jump onto this, and you can get quite a nice field of view out into here. So, so if they try to um, flank you, you can get out of that, and I want to get out of here. Let me run over here, and they've got a cap can on that one, which is nice, so I'm going to throw a, um, a welcome mat, that is what these are called, down here, as you can see now. No welcome match remaining. Interesting name for it, I believe. Like, I would have thought they would have called them bear traps or something like that. I don't know why bear traps. It's just that's what I see when I um, look at these because that is what I'm pretty sure it's used as in like real life. Yeah, they just got rid of that there. Did they? No. Yes, they did. So, hopefully we'll be able to get a nice foot, couple of feet shot off onto the enemies here. Let's see what we can do. But I really do like um, the um, shotgun of um, Frost. It's one of the shotguns I probably would use more than the other ones, just because, as you can see, it's got nice damage range on the gun. Now, I don't like the fact that this is so barricaded up for our team. Now, that is scary. There's a player just there. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Probably stop shooting him. And let's see what we can pull off here. Yeah, he is definitely dead. 
So yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm hearing a shield, which is a little bit worrying. But let's see, where are they? Is he upstairs? He is upstairs. There we go. Nice headshot onto him there. So where's this last guy? This last guy is. He's just creeping around. I think I heard him move around, unless that was our teammate. Where about is this guy? Is it not outside from where I can see? Where is he hiding? No point not knocking out that now. Ooh, okay. Because that's there, I'll pick this up. Ooh. That was our team. I thought that was the enemy just then. Where should we put this? Hmm. Just trying to really think right now where to put this. I think right there it will be good enough. Is he downstairs? He is too. There we go. There's the kill off onto him. Now, he is the guy that keeps killing me, so it feels really nice to kill him just then. I don't know, it was just, I had a feeling that he may have been downstairs out of all places. Didn't really, I didn't hear him. Which was lucky for me, I guess. Obviously not he, not to not hear him, but to find out that he was there. So yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, someone took lies again. Looks fair enough. So this will take, yeah, three shots to kill someone if my, yeah, damage to, like, w works out. And a stun or a breaching charge. I just like stun grenades. I used to, like, love having breaching charges, but they can just shoot you through the bottom of the um, door, so I think the stun grenades are a little better just so that you can throw them through and they'll either run out or they are stunned and you get some, some shots onto them, maybe not enough to kill them, but hopefully enough. So yeah, 6 and 2 isn't too bad. I want to get some kills as the buck here, however. Now, they are... They're where we are. So, yeah, I was saying, thinking, shouldn't there be a bomb in the um, kitchen? And there is. There we go, get out of here. And jump up here. Come back. Jump up into there. No, that's not where I wanted to go. And, yeah, we got shot out, which is fair enough. So, straight away, let's get rid of that there run this way and my aim here will be to look through the kitchen doors kitchen doors kitchen windows just over there and hopefully get some um kills through that now will this break the glass yes it will good so hopefully that there is enough to at least stun the enemy which is the aim now i cannot see him there but hopefully, ah, yep, yeah, he got me. I was going to say, hopefully he pops his head up, but doesn't shoot me. Now, hopefully one of our teammates here can revive me. But they're both inside, so this will be rather risky. Let's slow our blood loss. No, we can't move here now. But let's actually look at our teammates. Hopefully someone comes over and helps me. I think Quake Reaper is on his way around but the diffuser has been yeah secured. I think that is for me this round which really does suck I just can't get a break with this and yeah there we go we have bled out which isn't good Dr. Wooly Snipes again sorry Nips not Snipes for some reason I think it was Snipes but let's see if these guys can pull the win off here and make my death a little less hurtful what are they doing here they're just taking their time really slow let's just mark these guys this guy doesn't care that he's being spotted and he really yeah, he really should be caring is just oh, come on get out of the way so I can scan him come on let me scan this guy he's behind yes come on just jump around Jump around so we can spot him. 
There we go. Friendly, last He's just there, yeah, yeah. See, so we lost the friendlies. round. Fire alarms going off again. For some reason, the fire alarms are. Um, I think the battery are running um, low. So if you guys heard that, nothing to worry about. So let's use frost here. Use the shotgun, and let's go into the basement. The basement worked out well for us, did it? Or that different game I was playing? Cannot remember too well here. No, we were in the kitchen. We won the kitchen one, yeah. But that was a different game. So, yeah, guys, H1Z1 and CSGO, please let me know. I do have a lot of fun playing those games at the moment. Nearly able to play um, competitive. So, hopefully that will be some fun. I don't have a Secure mic bombs. for... Um, for... PC, so I can't, can't talk to people, but um, I hopefully will be able to still get some funny moments um, of me just like texting to them or something like that. Whatever uh, it is called, I guess. So, can people jump up on here? They can. But I don't think that they will do so. But let's just see what happens here. Now, where do we want to put these? Now, that's a drop down spot, so put that one there. And where else do we want to put this? Let's strip down this. We don't want that there. Let's face this. Let's just face some stuff. We want to put this down at the base of the stairs. There. And get rid of this drone. There we go. So, also, guys, if you didn't know, I don't know if I did this in a video or not. This is a very sneaky spot. Not a lot of people look down here. And maybe you'll be able to get some kills. Hopefully I'll be able to get a kill here for you guys to show this spot off on its prime. I can hear people running around and making their way through. That hopefully isn't me. Yes, that isn't me. Good. Now they're coming through this way. But let's just keep an eye on this here. I know that they're trying to come through the um, garage. But yeah, I really don't want to rush them just because it's probably not the best idea. There we go. Got the headshot off there. Let's. This isn't a smart place to be. Now, I really just don't want to be in this area right now. Uh, I want to get out, but at the same time, I think if I try to get out, I'm going to get shot. Screw it. I'm just going to put the biscuit. There we go. Whoa. Really intense stuff right there, on for myself at least. Hopefully we'll be able to get a cheeky kill maybe. Not even ready. Not even ready for that. So there's no one else around here. There's people outside that are trying to come through. Which I would encourage. Please try and come through. There's someone dead there which is great. And let's try to get some more quick kills here. Before this game is over. Where is the last operator? There, oh, okay, he just leaves the game. Upsetting end there for him just to leave, but that's the win. And 9 and 3 isn't too bad. But yeah, guys, please, and sorry for the lack of uploads, but I've been trying to do H1D1 CSGO all week, and it just hasn't worked. With N plus with working and stuff like that, it has been a little bit hard. So please let me know, you guys, what you want down below if you want to see gameplay of those games or not. Um. Social media also to know when I'm uploading. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, please leave a like, rating, comment, all your suggestions. Intro song is also down below, so go check that out. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.